So, <clears throat> sorry for the bit of a mess. I thought I'd do a bit of a video log reference to my DaVinci 3D printer. Now, um, by saying this, um, my 3D DaVinci printer, as in this one here, um, it came up with some sort of fault. And what it was, was the hot end was not, uh, let me just show you, the hot end here <clears throat> with the thermostat and stuff uh, just wasn't heating up at all. Uh, not too sure why, not too sure how. Um, so, done loads of research. Research showed me nothing. Um, there was loads of people in the States who said that they know how to do it, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, okay tell me and I'll try and do it try to do it um, it's not working <clears throat> took it to a local 3d printer shop that we've got here, here and uh, gave it to the guy there he was very helpful uh, he tried his best uh, he still couldn't sort it out himself now this is the PCB which was on the, the main board on the back of the printer these um, are good but it's all XYZ stuff uh, a lot of bad things have been said about XYZ stuff um, yeah so this is the board um, hoping to do some major improvements I need to also take out my little memory card that I can see there as well anyway <clears throat> back to the question in hand so my printer was dead it still is dead um, in here, I was even told, let me just, one sec, uh, no, very difficult, okay. Um, this here is the PCB, which it, um, is normally on the extruder. Uh, this also, I've been told, is just a pass-through and also just tells the printer if it's a extruder uh, for filament or if it's a laser engraver, which you can get for this printer. Anyway, <clears throat> printer, this, I mean, I even contacted a guy over in the States. This is the one he makes. Um, he says to me that it's all, it does work, obviously. He's only just created it. Uh, I don't know whether or not you can see it because of the light. There we go, maybe a bit better. Okay, so this is the Da Vinci little extruder with the connectors. Put this in, same error, um, it just weren't heating up. Uh, a lot of people were saying it was a board, there was a, some sort of uh, resistor or something on this board. Um, now looking at this, um, as you can see the tiny little resistors are absolutely tiny. Whether or not you can see that. Um, absolutely don't know um, so this don't work well this does work but it's not working through the printer for some reason anyway next step was to change the board okay so changing the board I did luck like, uh, at <laughs> what I was actually doing was 3d uh, designing to do a hypercube as you can see I've made a start but I don't know if you can see in there my cats, my uh, my cats has kittens, and it's become a den for them. So that's had to be put on hold, which gives me um, a chance to repair my 3D printer. Now, <clears throat> a lot of work, a lot of research, loads of stuff I've had to do to get this sorted out. Uh, okay, so I don't think you can see. But obviously I've, what I've done is I've ripped out all the cables in the back of, I've ripped out the board, I've also ripped out the, sorry, uh, I've also ripped out the whole of the board uh, which was here. All these cables are labelled so I know what they are for. I've put on the ramps on uh, uh, a Duido board um, on here, which seems to be doing something anyway. Um, I haven't got the connectors for the uh, extruder uh, for the motor, so I haven't done that at, at the moment. 
but I've got to this stage at the moment and I'm just waiting for some some cables connected so I can carry on but this is what happens now so power goes into the printer um, power goes into the printer here turn it on there you go so at this moment in time it's sort of alive <clears throat> um, I just need to do some more wiring some more cabling sorry about the hair I haven't really I've just been really busy um, getting doing stuff on there but other than that that is semi working I just need to get the cables so I can plug them all in get them all working um, other than that then I should be starting to 3d print some stuff that you can see in the background hammer very large sword, some bits and pieces. Um, yeah, so then I can carry on printing, doing bits and pieces around the house as well. Other than that, I just thought I'd do a quick blog um, just to let people know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I know, I've a bit of an early start and late one, but here we go. Anyway, um, hopefully, I'll uh, see you in the next. Yeah, okay. I'll see you in the next vlog. I will try and do a vlog. I don't know. First time I'm trying to do this. Um, don't really like it, but I'm trying to. If I can get this working, I'll try and keep up to date. I've got <clears throat> the files for the software. Um, any questions, throw them my way. I will try and help as much as I can. Um, but this is uh, going to be my 3D printer right, video blog thing to try and get it up and running. Also, it's got a build volume of 200 by 200 by 200. Now, I've been told by putting the Marlin firmware on here and just extending the build platform, I can turn it into a 300, 300 by 200, um, <clears throat> which is great. I'm happy with that. Um, I'm also wanting to add my Raspberry Pi to this, which will turn it into an OctiPrint, uh, which means I can have webcam, doing time lapses, doing everything, printing from out of outside the network, doing other bits and pieces. But let me know um, if you want me to continue doing stuff like this. I Obviously, I don't really feel comfortable doing stuff like this, but if you want me to carry on and sh do bits and pieces, I'm happy to. Uh, so, subscribe, like, and leave me comments. I will read them. Don't worry. All right. And I'm not going to go high five or um, keep making. How about do your own thing? All right. See you later. Bye.